Calvin Jones here, Park Tool Company with Tech Tuesday. This week, we're going off on a tangent. Maybe that's not so unusual here, but this week's tangent is rise over run, which when we recall our bicycle trigonometry is the tangent. When aligning our rear derailleur hanger, our goal is for our guide pulley to be parallel with our rear cogs. This will ensure proper shifting up and down the cogs. In this image, our derailleur hanger is bent. So we bring out the DAG 2.2 for alignment. We can see we're not perfectly aligned, so we make adjustments. The two planes become closer and closer to parallel, but how close is close enough? Let's go back to our bent derailleur hanger. The first plane, or line, as seen here, is defined by the rear cogs, which is going to be the run of our tangent. The second line is defined by the guide pulley, and the rise of the tangent is then this tiny line here. This is the air from perfectly parallel. It's very difficult to measure the rise or the deviation from the cogs themselves, which is why we need the DAG 2.2 to extend our run in order to measure the rise. Up here, we're measuring at the rim, which is an extension of our cogs. That's why we first check that the wheel is nice and true. If it's not so true, pick one point on the rim, like the valve hole, and always reference that when measuring. After we made our first adjustment, we can set our gauge to the rim again and see how close we came to perfect. and now we have a newer and smaller air. Again, we ask, how close is close enough? Let's look at the numbers. The derailleur is actually a bit below the hub center, but that doesn't significantly impact our measurements. From the hub center up, our run is about half the bead seat diameter, or 311 millimeters in a 700C road wheel. Here, we have a three millimeter air, so 3 divided into 311 is the tangent. In terms of degrees, we have about a half a degree air. But remember, we really care about the air down at the cogs. If we have a 3 millimeter air up at the rim, the rule of tangents tells us down at the cogs it's going to be very small indeed, only about a half a millimeter. An air of 3 millimeters or less is more than adequate for all derailleurs. Now, parallelism in planes means more than just two points. Check another point that's about 90 degrees off the first two. Three points that check out gets us parallelism. Or as we say in the Midwest, a three-legged milking stool always sits flat. See you next week.